After seeing the images of Irene heading for shore, it might make you pretty glad to be landlocked here in the Midwest. But all over our area, people are still preparing for the storm. They are preparing to help. News Channel 15's Elizabeth Fields shows us what a couple of groups are doing. That's right, Heather. Well, most of us have been watching that big swirl in the radar head closer and closer. Both the American Red Cross and the World Compassion Network have been working. Red Cross volunteers from our area are already gone and in place. World Compassion volunteers are waiting with supplies to head east after the storm. Red Cross volunteers are set up in Dunn, North Carolina. They took the emergency response vehicle and are getting ready for the storm to hit so they can help those who need it. So they're making sure all of the herbs are ready to go, that the maintenance is taken care of, they're staging supplies to either get them on the herbs and then be sent out from there or to some of the major logistical centers, just making sure everything's ready so they can go on a moment's notice. Joe Wilkie has a semi truck full of supplies ready to head into the area once the storm has passed. I've been on the phone for two days now, uh, making connection with local churches that we want to work with that are willing to be either a distribution center or receive items themselves. He says it's hard for volunteers to know what to expect because hurricanes are so widespread. And it affects a greater population, so we can't be certain how big this is going to be if it hits uh, New England. Back here in northeast Indiana, though, Duncan says there is something you can do to help. We are urging people to come in and donate blood as they're able because we need the blood on the shelves before the disaster strikes. And we're thinking we may see some collection centers along the East Coast be taken offline with the weather coming in. So we want to make sure we can help out those areas if needed. Duncan said more Red Cross volunteers are likely to head out tomorrow or Sunday to Maryland, and Wilkie is planning on heading out with his crew early Tuesday morning. For more on how you can help both organizations, you can head to Wayne.com. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth.